السلام ومنك السلام تباركت يا ذا الجلال والإكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته uh, Please keep your brothers, uh, brother Bilal Alhamdulillah, uh, he's doing better We were told he's doing better As I told you earlier at Salat al-Maghrib He was in the hospital He was taken to the hospital He was not feeling well But I spoke to his wife And Alhamdulillah, he's, uh, the worst is, uh, is over In other words, um, it is not what they, they thought It's but he's still there just under supervision and inshallah ta'ala everything bi'ithnillah will be there keep also in dua our dear brother Imtiaz who I told you had gone through a procedure please keep him in your dua that Allah will complete his shifa upon him inshallah ta'ala and all of those who are suffering from any sort of hardship or disease or difficulty individually in this community or anywhere in the world please keep them all in your dua all our brothers and sisters everyone, our brothers and sisters in our faith, and those also who are suffering anywhere in the world, even if they were not of our faith, and may Allah Azza wa Jal guide them to what is khair bi'ithnillah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair. And after the announcement, I'll have a, a khatira. Yes, please. Same announcement? Alhamdulillah. Patience pays. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Two things, inshallah ta'ala, as a reminder. Uh, may Allah azza wa jalla open our hearts and the channels of our hearts to the good words that he wants our hearts to hear. Allah maj'alna min al-lahi istami'una al-qawla fa ittabi'una ahsana. First, Allah Azza wa Jalla says, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ دْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ Our Lord said, implore me, ask of me, I shall answer you. And this is another offer of bountiful, merciful love from Allah Azza wa Jalla. He offers Azza wa Jalla that we implore him, that we ask him, that we solicit from him. He says, do that. And if we continue to do that constantly and sincerely, he will give. No matter what our issues are, our concerns are. If we continue to do that patiently and faithfully, not doubtfully, sincerely and faithfully, not doubtfully, Allah Azza wa has promised, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ ادْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ Second, not only said he that, جل, but those of us who do not do that, and there are many of us who do not do that, and who are in a hurry, who are always in a hurry when it comes to Allah, جل, and we have become a nation that has given up two things amongst many other things, ذِكْرُ and du'a. I have said that many times. We have given up because we think we are educated now and, and things of that sort, of that nature, that are very foolish. We have given up two things. Frequent dhikr of Allah Azza wa and frequent supplication and dua. And who are the losers? We are the losers in every aspect. Socially, psychologically, family type life, world life, because we have diminished from that strong bond, spiritual bond with Allah Azza wa Jal. And that bond cannot come without frequent dhikr and frequent dua to the extent that we have even sometimes misplaced fatawi against dua under some circumstances. Please, I advise you and myself. Our Lord said, Azza wa Jal, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمُ ادْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ your Lord said, implore of me, ask of me, I shall give you. And Rasulullah said also that those of us who want our dua to be answered in hardship, let us be dua in dua in prosperity. Man akthar dua o kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa man akthar dua fi rakha kana ahra an yustajab. 
في البراء أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم that even when things are doing well be in dua dua is ibada dua huwa al-ibada when we are not in dua Allah says that's a sign of arrogance brother and sister when you and I are one are, are ones who are not frequently in dua that's a sign for you let's assume you know a spiritual psychologist looks you know into your you know psyche and tells you you are an arrogant person and we need to know what we are so that we can change Allah is telling you and me one sign of an arrogant person no dua or less dua infrequent dua إن الذين يستكبرون عن عبادتي that's how the ulama says that's what it means because after mentioning dua as ibadah he says those who show who behave arrogantly towards my ibadah that means towards dua because Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم said الدعاء هو العبادة dua is the ibadah my dear brothers and sisters, I remind you and myself, I repeat, no matter how sophisticated you think you are, or we think we are, or no matter what IQ you think you have, and etc., 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 in this world of digital technologies, and of etc., smartphones, and, and smart dudes, no matter what you think you are, remember you will die. And what counts is not what is digital. What counts is what is spiritual. All of those are means. They don't define the value of a human being. What defines the value and the worth of a human being is your moral and spiritual worth, not your digital worth or some other worth. Please remember that. Ya I, Allah, I remind myself of that first and then you be soft soften moisten your lives and your lives and your lives with zikr with dua with salah with reflection with patience with quietness with humility with humbleness that's what the worth of a life is second a hadith from Rasulullah I read myself and I felt like sharing with you it's beautiful also he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in this hadith, Sahih, he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rahim Allahu abdan, Rahim Allahu abdan, Samhan idha ba'a, Samhan idha shtara, Samhan idha qada, Samhan idha qtada, and of course, رحم الله عبدا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم says and this is a dua and dua of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن شاء الله is مستجاب is answered his dua is may Allah have رحمة may Allah grant رحمة envelop in his رحمة عبد the servant who is سمح when he sells سمح when he buys Samh, when he pays off debts. Samh, when he requires debts to be paid to him. And what is Samh? Kind and forgiving. Now we spoke of dhikr and salah and so on and dua and look what it is linked now to. May Allah have rahma upon a abd. Now, in our lives, in our lives, dhikr and dua and salah should be reflected in our lives, in our meetings, in our administrations, in our managements, in our committees, in our work, in our business, everywhere. So he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may Allah have rahmah upon Abd, the servant, who is samah, forgiving, kind, not demanding and harsh, and requiring justice. Most of us, even we, we violate justice. But Allah loves a person and grants rahmah to a person. And Rasulullah.
وسلم asks Allah to grant rahma to a person, to a abd who is samh. I repeat, samh means what? <laughs> From musamaha. When you say samihni, you know, samihni, forgive me, pardon me, you know, uh, bypass my shortcomings. A person who is samh when he or she buys. You know what I mean, right? You know what this text means. Samh when you buy. There are those who buy and of us and argue and this and that. And, ooh, even with a very poor person, with a, with, or, or with a, with a street uh, peddler. or Samh إِذَا بَعْ When you sell something, Samh. Samh when you, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you sell, I'm sorry. And then Samh when you buy. Also, and samh when you taqdi ma alayk, when some you owe somebody something, and then and you pay that back with samah, with generosity, with benevolence, with kindness. Not only nowadays, not only in, in buying and selling goods, but also in let's say a, a trust, a responsibility upon you that you have to deliver. And then you do that with kindness, with gentleness, with generosity, with benevolence, with forgiveness. And إذا تقتضي سمحاً إذا اقتضى And then when you, it is uh, your right now upon somebody else. Whether to pay you money or something. Or a responsibility that you assigned. That they respond to you. That you are سمح. Kind, gentle, forgiving, benevolent instead of and so it goes at every level all of us fall into this category one way or the other may Allah grant me and you rahmah, may he help us be of those who are samah in all aspects of our lives ya rabbi ya rahman rahmin allahumma inna nad'uka nad'uka wa amartana biddu'a اللهم لا تخيبنا اللهم طهر قلوبنا اللهم زين قلوبنا لك واليوم العرض عليك اللهم ارحمنا برحمتك التي وسعت كل شيء وهذب خلقنا واجعل خلقنا من أحسن الأخلاق لديك آمين وصل الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته